I'm going to, you know, mistake myself in the future or, you know, I'm going to regret. But frankly speaking, like initial days coming to the UK, uh, managing myself was kind of difficult. But then uh, once I came here, once I got a job and, you know, once I got set here, once... hi hello uh, welcome to another vlog video it's not a vlog video basically it's just gonna be i'm gonna share my experience of coming to the uk from kuwait so most of them you know uh, come like from india and the viewers who are watching you know they might be watching from india kuwait and elsewhere so i'm gonna share my experience and all how did i come and what did i do so how was it for me uh you know uh, how easy was the process and all of those so before before going, getting into the topic if you haven't have subscribed to my channel please just subscribe like and share so that you know i'll be able to get more of these kind of videos and as you all know like i shoot vlogs so it's been quite long now that it's been like eight or nine days that i haven't shot any vlog because i was like busy with work and uni and all those stuff so uh, I got time today, so I thought, uh, why not shoot this uh, informative video and share my experience with you all. So basically, uh, when I planned to come to the UK, so I planned to come to the UK, uh, it was all of a sudden and uh, I didn't have any plans to the UK because I, I was working in Kuwait and I had a really nice job, decent job and, you know, I was happy with what I have. But uh, of course, I'm not a person who want to sh get, sh you know, stay at one place in particular. So I thought, why not try UK? Yeah, I wanted to do my master's. So, uh, and I was, you know, I was thinking whether should I go for it? Because I'm already working like two, since two, two and a half years, almost three years was going to get over when I came here. So I was thinking, will it, you know, will it be a decision where I'm going to, you know, mistake myself in the future or you know, I'm going to regret. But frankly speaking, like initial days coming to the UK, uh, managing myself was kind of difficult. But then uh, once I came here, once I got a job and, you know, once I got set here, once you know it went on with the routine so coming to the coming to the procedures and uh, what you have to do to come here so first thing is that whenever you want you if you want to do masters in whichever field you are in so make sure that it re relates your field so if you are a computer science background or uh, commerce background make sure that if you want to do masters or any other a graduation make sure that it relates your field so i was into it background so my first preference was uh, cloud computing and uh, i got an offer letter from uh, university of east london uh, which is located in london but uh, uh, when i went to pay the fees um, the time was already done so i had like two three other uh, universities from where i got the offer letter one was coventry university where i'm studying at the moment so Coventry University, uh, I applied like I had three, as I mentioned, three, four preferences of, you know, master. So first was MS in cloud computing. Second was uh, MS in cyber security, uh, cyber security. And the third one was uh, MSc in uh, data science and uh, computational intelligence. So uh, the second preference, which I got was from Coventry University, which is located in West Midlands, Coventry. I'm sharing like about my experiences of when I got my offer letter, um, I had, I got a, un, a conditional offer letter where I had to pay my deposit. That is, that was like around 4,000 pounds. And I had to attend an interview where they will interview, uh, like why you're planning to come to the UK and, uh, what are your future plans and all those stuff. So I'm not going to mention what was there in the interview, but, um, the, I had this conditions on my offer letter. So I, I paid the deposit amount and I went to the interview and I cleared the interview and after clearing the interview, uh, I mean, after clear, when you pay your deposit you know, or to the university, you have to make sure that you have the amount. So you have to produce your bank statements. There's a portal, every university or 
probably if you're applying from your agent it will be easier so they know everything so you have their portal they will upload all your documents might be your 10th marks card 12th marks card there are certain documents which i'll just list out you have to you know uh, submit it to their portal so that they have the proof of where you belong and what's your background and all those things so once you uh, have the enough money and you ha you have arranged enough funds so you can apply for your cas so make sure that before applying for your cas make sure that you have the funds 28 days more than 28 days or more than 20 i prefer to have funds for more than 28 days so that you know you're not in a dilemma ki uh, whether my you know uh, cas is going to be rejected or all those kind of stuff so once you apply for your cas uh probably for me it took like around 2 or not 2 2 or 3 weeks to get the cash once you get the cash with the cash number you apply for your visa through vfs portal so from kuwait when i was applying i applied through the online website the, uh, the vfs has vfs global has their online website you have to fill out all the forms so i'll try to put i try to you know show the form in this video like i'm not going to show in everything but it might be easy because you have to be very careful while filling out the form might be your name date of birth your caste number and especially some people have confusion uh, normally once you uh, come to the uk you have your uh, brp by Bi biometric residence permit people have confusion ki where should we collect it from so uh, normally when you get get your caste letter it will be mentioned in the caste letter you have to collect it from this this particular place so make sure that you put that play, that uh, uh, post code and everything in your uh, while you are applying for your uh, visa so i did one mistake is that uh, i have i haven't like i overlooked the mail and you know i just put the nearest post office and i had to go through collect it through the post office but whereas i could have collected from my university itself so this is one thing because of uh, you know i i know this because i did that mistake so don't do that mistake if you have you know once you get your cash everything will be mentioned your cash number where, from where to collect your brp and everything will be mentioned that so accordingly you have to you know uh, mention while filling up the form and as i as i told like i'm telling many times because like if you make a mistake there will be you have to apply again will be a lot of issue because when applying for your visa you'll be paying your insurance money uh, by, for nhs and your visa amount and everything so once you apply you can upload documents here also you can you have to apply while applying uh, for your visa you have to upload all your documents they uh, they'll give you a certain checklist like for what for what you want to upload what you want to upload uh, in their portal in the vfs global so you can go there and show them the document that you go there and whatever checklist checklist whatever documents documents are mentioned you go there and show it to them so that they can scan it and they can upload and if there's anything missing they will let you know so what happened in my case is that Uh, when i was applying i uh, uploaded it to uh, uploaded through online like i uploaded my myself uh, made be the 12th marks card 10th marks card my passport copy and my residence uh, permit in kuwait uh, everything as well like even my i didn't attach my bank statement so i was very scared that uh, my visa might uh, get rejected but i had a bank certificate uh, from the senior bank manager so thankfully my visa got accepted but i suggest that i prefer you if you know uh, to uh, upload both bank certificate as well as uh, uh, you know bank statement so you are, you are not you know uh, what you know you're not not worried ki your you know visa will be declined and all those stuff so this was like a brief process i mean i couldn't you know elaborate everything but yeah this was like a brief thing so after like Uh, since that time uh, the, uh, because of ukraine and uh, russia the because of the war uh, uk was giving more preference to ukraine uh, for people to uh, you know uh, migrate from ukraine to uk so there were no priority visa so i had to apply through standard visa and it took me like almost one and a half month since i was working it was difficult for me because uh, I, i was not sure whether my visa would be accepted or rejected and i had i had also resigned my company and everything so all those confusions were there but thankfully by the grace of god my visa got accepted and i came to the uk so i don't exactly remember i think uh, june uh, june 4th or 5th i landed uh, the uk so initially when i landed and yeah many people have uh, also confusions like whether we should book the accommodation Uh, prior or after coming here and everything i suggest you that you look for your uh, accommodation 
i book through amber student i'll you know i'll put the link in the description you can you know uh, refer if you are plan to come to the uk you can go check out their link and they have really nice uh, links where you know the where i was saying is coventry so they have been associated with all the student accommodations and they guide you their agents are really nice so i contacted amber student and till my cash came i had not done my payment so i just booked it uh because i was not sure whether i was getting my visa or no so once uh i got my cash and everything i paid the amount and you know initial amount and book my accommodation so i, I was staying uh, in corporation village which is like 10 to 15 minutes walk uh, from the uh, university and like it was really close to the city center of coventry and all such things but after 3 months it was a 3 months contract and after 3 months i moved to a uh, different house i got a house and uh, uh i mean of course i rented house and i moved here so uh, that was my whole story and regarding you know some people might also be confused that what about the job when i mentioned about job uh, job is the part time job where you can do you know uh, if you are in the uk so like if you are a student you can work 20 20 hours a week so 20 hours a week depends uh, on what kind of job you work so any job you know till you are a student you can work only 20 hours a week so uh, don't misunderstand me that you know i came here and you know immediately you know uh, got into a job or nothing i was I w- i'm studying and also i'm working part time because to manage uh, to manage my exp- expenses and all the other things so it's a part time job it's 20 hours per week you cannot work more than 20 hours per week at present in the uk jobs and everything so you know as and when you com- communicate once you come here you know it's uh, i frankly saying that for me uh, initially uh, it was kind of difficult for me to find a job at presently to tell you all i'm uh, working at subway it's been like around 5 months i'm working part time job and also i have some other uh, you know freelancing jobs as well which i do my myself so uh, presently i'm working there part time and it's it's a good experience working here Uh, because you get an exposure you get to meet new people of you know it's like really nice so many people might think that you know it's getting job uh, might be difficult yeah at recent stage is it's difficult but it's on you how you you know communicate with people and you know make contacts and try to find yourself a job so uh, i'll if you all want me to make a you know different video on you know finding a job here and what are the things how to apply for a job and everything i'll you know get a, a different set of video for that uh, you can you know if you want uh, you can comment down in the comment section and i'll try to bring that as well in the future so uh, that's about my experience of you know uh, this is going to this is really going to be a short uh, video but i think this video might help you uh, to just have an idea Uh, i cannot say that i i can't say that i'm really good in explaining on what i what i have been through but yeah i just uh, you know give a shot on my experience about how it was for me from coming uh, from kuwait to the uk because i didn't come from india and uh, uh, i came from kuwait so yeah and one more thing i forgot to mention was if you're coming from india you have tb test and all the medical test and stuff scanning and everything but i was coming from kuwait so i didn't have anything as such uh, i just had to apply for the visa and from uh, apply visa online and go to the vfs center on a uh, we get an appointment date uh, i'm just trying to you know remember whatever things i have done so i have not noted down anything or anything as such i'm just going to remember as and when i to- as i'm shooting the video i'm remembering so i'm just trying to put it up to you so um, i get got a appointment letter after two days and i went and i just uh, you know they scanned my docu- uh, documents and everything they took my passport and yeah as i mentioned earlier i got my you know visa approved in two months so if there's anything that i missed um, i would like to you know uh, apologize for that but then i tried to uh, bring out whatever possible in this video so that it can help you or your friends or anyone who coming to the uk from kuwait india or any other country so uh, that's all from this video see you all in the other video in the next vlog maybe until then take care stay safe bye bye and cheers